Uh, the Honourable uh, Shane Mallard. Thank you, Mad uh, Madam Deputy President. I'll, uh, I'll not take the lead from our honourable colleague. I will do a more substantial speech. I'm pleased to rise tonight in support of the impounding amendment unattended boat trailers bill 2015. This bill is one of a number of initiatives that the government intends to implement to assist the management of boat trailer parking. We all know and boast that we live in the world's most beautiful city. Anyone flying into Sydney on a sunny day can't help but be dazzled by the glistening blue waters that crisscross our vast suburbs. From Port Hacking in the south to Botany Bay and of course Sydney Harbour, our marvellous rivers, including the PN, the Hawkesbury, Georges and Parramatta, and the west, the Cooks in the south, all hemmed, hemmed in by generous beaches and sparkling coves. Sounds like a tourism or real estate ad. Our lifestyle as Sydney siders is in many ways defined by our relationship with these waterways. And of course, with this comes our love affair with all things water related, including over 200,000 boat trailers and probably many thousands more boats, which this legislation seeks, seeks to better regulate. And currently there are 204,000 boat trailers in New South Wales registered with the roads and maritime. This number is forecast to increase by about 3 per cent per annum over the next decade. That's another 70,000 boats. This highlights the need for a range of suitable boat storage options, particularly off-street options. Increasingly, boat owners are using on-street parking as a long-term storage solution for their boats. This has led to legitimate concerns uh, about loss of amenity, competition for scarce on-street parking and increased road safety risks. The Impounding Act of 1993 confers powers on enforcement officers to impound a vehicle or a trailer where the enforcement officer believes on reasonable grounds that the vehicle or the trailer has been abandoned or left unattended. While these powers allow enforcement officers to impound clearly abandoned or unattended boat trailers, the officers cannot direct that a legally parked boat trailer be moved on by its owner, however long they have been parked there. In my time as a councillor as well, it became very clear to me that this is a constant and consistent nuisance to residents across the city. I have dealt with complaints about boat trailers obstructing corners and curves, overhanging bicycle lanes and obstructing clear vision of pedestrians crossing uh, or, or on side streets. And I'm afraid to report that boat trailers can be used as spite weapons in petty neighbourhood disputes, uh, parked in front of a neighbour to, to uh, retaliate in terms of a neighbourhood dispute. And to date, and I've never owned a boat, and to date, if my ancestors came on the first fleet, and to date, <laughs> and to date, if the boat trailer is legally and safely parked, it cannot be required to be relocated. This is significant impacts on road safety and resident amenity for the increasing number of boats being parked in on-street parking on an extended basis. And the powers under the current legislation are simply out of step with public expectations. And dealing with this issue at the coalface, of course, is local government, and, and to date they have been power, relatively powerless to respond. This legislation is not in isolation. The government has announced a new boating infrastructure program called New South Wales Boating Now, which replaces the very successful Better Boating Program. That's $70 million being made available over five years to work with local councils and other partners in developing priority boating infrastructure projects across the state. Around $35 million has already been allocated towards the delivery of 192 regional boating priority projects to, do, to be delivered by 2017. Another $5 million has been set aside to assist local councils and potentially other organisations in establishing off-street boat park trailer parking facilities. The government wants to hear about ideas and opportunities for establishing new boat storage facilities using this funding assistance. And for further information, uh, it will be made available through Transport for New South Wales. And Transport for New South Wales has released 11 regional boating plans covering each of the state's major waterways. The regional boating plans have been developed following extensive public consultation and include strategies and actions to increase the capacity of on and off water boat storage in the key centres. This will help provide this will help provide private boat owners with more storage options instead of just storing their boat on a trailer in the local streets. Already the Sydney Harbour boat storage strategy has been developed and released following public consultation. The strategy notes that trailers are the dominant form of storage for boats and that while the majority of trailers are stored on private property, many are stored on suburban streets. It notes that on-street storage is expected to increase. To reduce the incidence of on-street storage, the strategy aims to promote the establishment of dry stack storage facilities in the Sydney Harbour Basin as a means of providing an affordable form of secure boat storage for owners. An affordable form of secure boat storage for owners of smaller boats who do not have sufficient space on their own properties. 
Storage strategies for pit water and Lake Macquarie are also being developed. These will seek to increase the storage capacity and reduce mooring congestion and clutter, which I'm sure you support. A comprehensive review of the administration of moorings has been undertaken to identify ways to promote more efficient on-water storage options, and I'm told the outcomes of the review will be released shortly. I note the bill from the other place has amendments incorporated that strengthen the bill and goes a long way to showing this government listens during the legislative process. So, so the message to the community is it's never too late to talk to this government about proposed legislation. This is, <laughs> and, and, and well may you laugh, but this is how it should be, and I applaud the Minister and the government for demonstrating a preparedness to adapt to appropriate feedback from stakeholders, and in this instance principally the local government. The measures the Bill is proposing will specifically target those vehicles that generate complaints from affected residents without impacting on other vehicle owners. The legislation will allow councils to respond to hotspots and specific areas in their locality, which that, whether that be in the suburbs surrounding boat, river boat ramps, seaside areas or holiday places. But it will not target all boats, just the minority causing grief and nuisance. I'm sure <laughs> members would think that that's good legislation, a fine-tuned approach to the problem. It proposes to do this in the following ways, making park boat trailers with the park legally or otherwise subject to impounding by an enforcement officer if unmoved for a period of 28 days and allow 15 days notice before impounding action can be taken. These measures will provide council and other enforcement officers with clear power to direct that boat trailers, although legally parked, be moved on or impounded after being parked in the same place for 28 days. The amendments will not affect the power of enforcement officers currently have under the Act to immediately impound without notice a boat trailer that is obstructing traffic or that is unsafe. It is pretty obvious that these measures will be applied in the exception and play more an educative and deterrence role. This bill has also been strengthened after further consultation with the specific specification that a boat trailer must have, must have moved at least as far as a different block face, that is, a different section of the same road, i.e. one block, this addresses the concern that boat trailers might simply be rolled a metre forward and a metre back each time. An improvement on this bill is the ability for councils to opt in so that the new provisions to deem a boat trailer unattended will apply to all or part of the local government area under the Impounding Act of 1993. The proposed amendments will also allow councils to determine in consultation with their communities where enforcement will occur. This will ensure the measures are appropriately targeted and apply to areas identified by local communities on a needs basis. Uh, this tailors the bill to those areas that need it. The bill uh, de uh, also delays the commencement of the bill to enable boat trailers owners to make, take more time to find an appropriate long-term off-street parking arrangement in terms of implementation. It's also important to add that there has been wide stakeholder consultation on this issue. Uh, Madam Deputy President, the bill together with the government's complementary initiatives, uh, which I have outlined in detail, are designed to strike a balance between protecting the amenity of those res residing in waterside areas and facilitating the use and enjoyment of our harbours and waterways by boat owners. Madam Deputy President, we have stopped the boats and now we're stopping the boat trailers. Oh. I commend the bill to the House. Uh, the, 